back to The Christian View, and today we're talking about unplugging. And what I want to talk about, or I want to ask all of you, is how many times today, just today, have you checked your text messages, mm -hmm. emails, and viewers at home, I want you to think about this too. Are you texting while you're watching this show? Because mm -hmm. you probably are. Yeah, <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about that and tell me what you think about I think we're actually over. I know you've been it. on your own. Yeah. Yeah. I have. I have. I have. Yeah. You that we said we go there. I have watched the phone. Yeah. yeah. I watch the phone. You know, and actually, yeah. you know, it's amazing that if I do put it down, um, it I believe it has kind of synchronized with my body. I can know when it rings. You know, I can be in another room and feel like I get a vibration from the phone. Oh God! Oh, no, oh, that is not yeah, good. Separation anxiety. You need to get unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get unplugged. They yes, say I that do. everybody checks their phone normally. Yeah. Everybody checks their phone about every six and a half minutes, uh, regardless of whether yes. it has rang. Or, you're going to just look at and it. And it's yes. not Somebody just phone. the phone. It's social right. media. Of course. It's all this other stuff. And in studying for this, I read a term I had not heard of, FOMO. Fear wow. of missing wow. out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why people true. don't unplug. Won't yeah. turn off their phone, won't get a um, computer. <laughs> their fear, <laughs> the, the fear of missing out on the latest news, the latest yeah. call, the latest right. thing that's happening on Facebook. Yeah. Somebody told me that last That's night. True. I can't get off of it. I'm afraid I will miss out. And I'm well, like, yeah. oh, well, what about, I don't know if anyone is like me at home. Maybe you're like me. You're watching something on television at night and your other screen's right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, oh, yeah. you're watching two screens at yeah. once. Well. We're multitasking. So you're, I'm not the only uh, one yeah. that does that. I think about how much. far we've come as a society because the first time I ever remember people having cell phones, we had gone to Hong Kong in 1992, I think it was, and everybody on the streets, thousands of people were watching walking around with cell phones and I thought, what is that? I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. And then little did we know that, you know, later it's coming it would our come, way. Yeah. And, and like you said with social media, our our phones are most of them are smartphones. Yeah. So they've got our email and our text message and I can't live without it, I'll be honest. My calendar's on there. On it. The alerts that alert me. I love having that, but you do have to intentionally set it down. And what about yeah. texting and driving? Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a whole It's nother. against the law. Yeah. People do it anyway. Yeah. Right. That's right. Right. You see it all the time. I was gonna say, yeah, the law has not um, you know, stopped people from texting and driving, but we actually know that we shouldn't be doing it. And, yeah, you know, I think dangerous. all of us are guilty yeah. at some point of, you know, just picking up the phone and um, mm -hmm. trying to, you know, use it. I do, I'm guilty yeah. a little, mm -hmm. but I do try to use Siri as much as possible. Right. Uh, that is unfortunately, helpful. she doesn't always get my words yeah. in the right context. <laughs> so I have right. to right. 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 Yeah. Do you know that in emergency rooms now, they're saying they're seeing so many accidents right. sure. of, yeah. no, of people walking and not paying attention walking. and falling yeah. or wow. stepping out in front of traffic. Walking. Oh, yeah. and so I say that on the street. So yeah. Jackie, they've developed, no yeah. <laughs> they've developed an app. They've developed an app for walking to let you know of dangers ahead. Oh, well, they wow. say 87% of the people literally could not go one day yeah. without their cell phones or their social media. They do not know how they would survive just going one full day and not because having the access. We're addicted. We're addicted. And I saw where there's a company actually that's called Digital Detox yes. that uh, takes companies and gives them day retreats and workshops where people have to leave their phone. They're not allowed to check Is them. it China? that now has the boot camps for their kids because they've become so addictive really? to put them in there and try to get them away from some of that? Yeah. Well, do you know, weeks? Jackie, that I think it's 82% of kids between the ages of 16 and 17 have cell phones. Yes. So these are our new drivers, ones that are getting out on the road for the first time and getting behind the wheel of car on their own, and they've got cell phones. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you, at 16 years old, no, I, don't I think wouldn't good. have been qualified to be able to handle that. all of my social media with my friends and oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. and pay attention to the road. I'm glad we didn't have them back then. Yeah. I don't think Absolutely. we really realize the overall impact that it's having, you know, I just agree. not a whole lesson, but just really when we think about it, the stress level that's increased by using social media. We see so many people now, like in my field in, in behavioral health, and so many coming in through psychology, a lot of them now are having less, they're having more sleep disorder because yeah, they're right. getting less sleep, because they're constantly disrupting, the phone's vibrating, it's ringing, yeah. that little light comes on and, and why is that because the brain this is what I read so you straighten us out on this professor but <laughs> the brain needs time to reboot is yes, that right does, yeah. and yeah. we don't ever have yeah. if we don't have downtime and right. we're not able to daydream or be creative part right. of the brain dies is yes, that right most definitely yeah. when we, we think of the term addiction we usually think you know alcohol, alcohol drugs yeah. whatever yeah. but I read an article the other day about 
teenage cell phone addiction. Oh, absolutely. That it is an actual that, yeah. addiction. Mm -hmm. And like people, like you said, they're having withdrawals. I can't put right. it down. I can't. They you know? say, Don, you will never know what level your addiction to it is unless it's taken away from you. Yes. Mm, and right. then you will know how addicted you are to it. Yeah. Right. I know I am. I, know, I, I yeah. just admit it. I know I am. Well, you know, Jackie, how kids will put us in our place. Yeah. My six-year-old granddaughter was sitting at dinner with us with a friend of ours who, Don, you know very well, who is a dear friend, who was on the phone, and he was staying on the phone the whole time through dinner, and she looked at him, and she said, it's rude to be on your phone during good. dinner. <laughs> I'm like, That's good. Yeah. We as adults should almost well, say that yeah. because we are to speak truth in love. But We've talked thank about God that on kids. this show. Yes, we have. Right. Where, you know, I think, I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Put them on the said, table yeah. in the restaurant yeah. and stack them. Yes, you did. Yeah. And if it rings, and yeah. you pull it out, you pick up the towel. <laughs> <laughs> well, You'll be surprised right how many of them will not pick it up. Yeah. You know, if you do that. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Now, someone's going for it anyway. Because yeah. they know I'm not going And the thing them. about it, too, is <laughs> when people are <laughs> so <laughs> addicted to it like that, it hurts feelings. It's bad it manners. Yes, it um, when you're trying to talk to somebody and they're just like, uh huh, and, and doing this, right. mm -hmm. it's like they value that yeah, more, more than, than you. you. Right. And that's a problem. I look yeah. around at dinner. Matter of fact, Mike and I were at dinner the night before last, and I looked around at dinner, and there were eight men sitting around a table, and seven of them were looking at their phones. Wow. wow. One was talking, and he could you could hear him all over the whole restaurant. So I think he was talking loud enough so everybody could hear him. That'd be okay. He but. was talking to everyone else there. He who was, because that was the only people that listened. Do you think it's because maybe that's our crutch? You know, if we feel awkward, we just I, resort to the cell phone? It can be. I think you feel I important know. if people yeah. are Stay constantly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know.